Hey there, and welcome to this feedback loop tutorial for Resonum Wire. Feedback loops are awesome tools for creating effects like trails and frame freezing, but are also used in generative works, reaction diffusion patches, and video synths. As a cherry on the cake, they are very easy to make. So let's get started right away. I've made this little patch to get the party started. We have two Perlin generator nodes moving a circle shape around. Now let's make the feedback loop. We'll start by adding a video mixer. Next, we take the output of the video mixer and we plug it back into itself. A delay node will be added by wire and our feedback loop is created. By playing with the opacity of the loop, we can go anywhere from long trails to drawing on the screen. Pretty sweet. But this is just the first step in our feedback journey. Let's push the concept further by injecting effects into the loop. Here I have another patch that needs some feedback loop love. We've got the basics of a cool visual, but it's way too crisp for my taste. I'll start out by adding some anti-aliasing, around 20 should do it. Next we create the feedback loop. I'll create a video mixer and make sure to patch the output of the shape render into the top layer. I want my feedback to run underneath my visuals as an effect. By tweaking the opacity, I can already get some nice trails out of the visual, but let's level up our feedback game. I will insert a transform node between the video mixer output and the delay node. For now nothing changes, but as soon as I start playing with the parameters of the transform node, we get all sorts of wicked effect. Let's have a play with this. was pretty neat. I encourage you to experiment with other effects in the loop. But keep in mind that everything in a feedback loop gets repeated infinitely. So you often need to tweak your effects to have very low values. Throw a U-rotate node into a feedback loop and you'll be puking rainbows if you're not too careful. And if you want to get really experimental, you can use feedback loops within feedback loops. But only do this if you're the mad scientist kind of guy because you'll quickly lose track of what is happening, like in this patch. I have no clue, but it's pretty. And that wraps it up for feedback loops in Resolume Wire. This is such an unpredictable and experimental technique that there is not much more for me to say other than go out there and experiment. So you go do that, and I will see you in the next video.